We're certainly in the heart of the hurricane season. Through mid-August into October, that's when activity peaks across the Atlantic as well as the Caribbean basin. So obviously at this time of the year, we watch everything quite closely. And uh, this system, which is set to impact the Leeward Islands and parts of the northern Windward Islands, will definitely be causing us some of those uh, impacts across uh, through parts of uh, Dominica, up towards the French Antilles, into Antigua, Barbuda, up towards uh, Puerto Rico and possibly the Dominican Republic. So all of those areas are under a tropical storm warning. It will not necessarily be the winds that will be the impact here it will likely be the rainfall looking at a rainfall amount of 100 millimeters or more and that's where you'll see the possibility of a flash flooding mudslides and landslips as well so this is something that they'll have to watch over the next uh, few days particularly over those uh, mountainous areas around uh, Puerto Rico and up towards uh, the Leeward Islands but for us here we have a tropical wave which passed by to bring a few showers on the leading edge of uh, that but it definitely it is not connected to uh, that uh, system and uh, that that system poses no direct threat to Trinidad and Tobago, but it will definitely unsettle our conditions over the next 24 hours. Could be seeing uh, some showers, especially through your Wednesday morning into the afternoon. Some of those showers could be on the heavy or thundery side, so be mindful about that because in those downpours, we could see street or flash flooding. So for Trinidad uh, tonight, look for the showers to come through after midnight. So starting Wednesday on a damp note, especially across the northern range, it will be generally cloudy as that system pushes towards Towards the north. The winds will also die down at least for a touch and that will allow the daytime heating to spark some of those uh, heavier bursts especially during the middle of your morning and the early part of the afternoon. So don't be surprised if you do hear some thunder across uh, both Trinidad and Tobago. Now on a Thursday we'll still see unsettled conditions the intertropical convergence zone as well as some of that moisture from that system will continue to impact us and then through Friday and Saturday we'll see a brightening of the skies. We should be seeing settled weather at least by the end of Friday and going into Saturday. Now offshore, those are southerly winds we will notice as that system passes towards the north, still bringing moderate choppy seas, two meters to the Caribbean, maybe getting a touch higher than that at 2.5 as we go further late on Wednesday and going into Thursday with the passage of that system towards our north. Now obviously across the Great Tarantula is not being impacted by that system, mostly settled weather here, but out towards the Dominican Republic, at least latter half of the day, going into the Leeward Islands, they will definitely see quite a bit of that squally weather, those heavy showers, the risk of street or flash flooding, as well as landslides or land slips. And some of those showers will eventually push southwards into uh, Grenada, but we're not expecting tropical storm force conditions here for Trinidad and Tobago or the southern Windward Islands. So at least for Trinidad and Tobago, we are not under any tropical storm watch or warning. So that's your weather, and that's it for me.